My esteemed viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, the station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mongi, taking you through chemistry from one. And today we are going to look at basically the following lesson goods. So stay tuned throughout the lesson and do pay attention. So what are the goals of this lesson? So by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to define the term like atom, molecule, element, and compound. And you'll also be able to state the scientific name of various examples of elements and compounds and list some of the uses of these elements and compounds. So it is important for us to recall the nature of matter. Any substance that occupies space and has mass, and we say that it can exist in three states, solid, liquid, and gas, depending on the prevailing temperature. So since we know matter is anything, it is made up of tiny particles which are in continuous random motion. That is from kinetic theory of matter. So these tiny particles are the ones which we refer to as atom. So wh what is an atom? An atom is defined as the smallest unit into which matter can be divided without the release of electrical charged, electrically charged particles. That is the smallest particle of matter that can exist in a free and uh, that is can that can take part in a chemical reaction that is what we basically refer to as an atom and atoms of various substances have the same composition and atoms are microscopic hence they are not visible to the human eye once again an atom the smallest particle of matter that can take part in a chemical reaction basically it is made up of other subatomic particles which can be uh, which we are going to look at into details on to molecule a molecule is defined as a group of two or more atoms that form the smallest identifiable unit in which a pure substance can be divided and still retain the composition and chemical properties of that substance so a uh, molecule basically the smallest particle of an element in which uh, that can exist in a free and separate state for instance we may consider water molecule which is basically made up of hydrogen atom and oxygen atom which are chemically bonded together by covalent bonds we also have carbon dioxide, which is co2 that is one carbon atom bonded to two oxygen atoms or we may look at oxygen oxygen molecule which is made up of two atoms which are bonded together covalently and therefore they exist in a free and separate separate state and onto an element is a pure substance which cannot be broken down by any chemical means it cannot be splitted any further using any chemical means so it consists of atoms which have identical numbers of protons neutrons and elements examples may include iron we have aluminium we also have silver but don't forget that these elements are also in the three states of matter so there are elements which are in solid state as i've illustrated and there are elements which are in liquid state and there are those elements which are in gaseous state so what are some of the scientific name of some of the elements for instance we have sodium whose scientific name is natrium and therefore the symbol na silver argentum copper referred to as cuprum. we have mercury uh, referred to as hydrogram we have reed which is basically referred to as prambum and potassium we have carium and from the scientific name of these substances you can observe that that is where we get now the symbol from that is if an element does not have a scientific name its common name is now uh, used to give us the uh, the symbol for instance calcium which gives us ca uh, we have the likes of oxygen the symbol is o other elements have uh, uh, scientific names uh, but we are going to use these few examples for this reason so what is a compound 
A chemical compound is a chemical substance composed of many atoms from more than one element held together by chemical bonds. So these elements are held together and therefore we have different chemical bonds which hold these atoms together. The bonds can be ionic, covariant, or uh, dative types of bonds which, which hold these atoms together forming a compound. So how do we name these compounds? The compounds that end with the letters I, D, E are mainly made up of two elements that are chemically combined. For instance, silver oxide elements present in silver and oxygen. Magnesium chloride, therefore we have magnesium and chlorine. Potassium iodide, elements present are potassium and iodine. Elements or compounds that end with the letters ATE are mainly made up of three elements that are chemically combined in which one of the elements is oxygen. For example, sodium nitrate. Elements present are sodium, nitrogen and oxygen. Uh, example to zinc carbonate. Elements present are zinc, carbon and oxygen. It is very important for us to understand how these compounds are named. So, and to the test of this lesson, let's look at the following. Define the terms atom, molecule, element, and compound. And question number two, identify the elements that make up the following compounds. Sulfur oxide and two, magnesium sulfate. Uh, please stay tuned or you can refer. You can refer to students chemistry book one or you can give us a tweet on the numbers on your screen or visit our facebook and and uh, youtube page at elimu tv and tweet is underscore k elimu tv underscore ke once again your tutor mr mongi francis stay tuned for more lessons to come thank you